Hello there, Internet Dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are watching four horror videos, all of different kind of genres. We've got an analog horror about South Park. We've got a four anomaly analog horror, which is always a blast. We've got a back rooms video, and we've got a Midwest Angelica analog horror. Uh, for those who don't remember Midwest Angelica, this, it was probably one of the most visually impressive analog horrors I've seen. We'll get more into it as, as you know, as we actually jump into that video. But this first video was actually sent in over on my Discord by F. Thros MC, I think that's how you say the name. And it's by Beyond Birth, who we've watched in the past before, and it's called Ike's Tragedy South Park Analog Horror. But before we get into the video, guys, if you're a fan of analog horrors and scary videos, spooky stuff, reaction content in general, then consider subscribing as that is the majority of my content. I'm on a journey to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and any help with that is greatly appreciated. So we're going to just jump in with this Ike's Tragedy. So be sure to go subscribe to all creators. They will be linked down below with the video next to them so that you can watch alongside me. And that being said, I'm going to count down. And then if you want to open it up in a new tab and watch along whilst it's muted, more power to you because that, that will give the creators watch time and it will boost them in the algorithm, hopefully. I don't know how the algorithm works. You know, it's, it's a surprise to me. It's a mystery to me. So here we go. Three, two, one. Okay. Is this going to be like the first 40 seconds of the intro again? Because I might just skip that. Due to recent events that involve the show South Park, the police have asked us to stop airing the show until further notice. The show will air again once the police deem it safe to do so. Oh yeah, there was like some kind of uh, interruption or something. The, the, I don't know, it was like a cursed video and like now Comedy Central are all like, wow, we can't be having this. But the creators of South Park have been saying, we didn't do this. So I don't know what the hell's going on. It's not real. Okay, let's just put it out there. I miss him so much. But there's nothing I can do. It's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. He's joined the others. What, so... All of these guys are dead now? I don't think I saw Kenny die. Not Kenny, um... Shit. Why am I forgetting that name? This town will never be the same. We are all completely helpless. All we can do is wait until we are all killed off one by one. Damn. It's pretty brutal. It's brutal. Yeah, it's brutal. Who's this that's talking, though? That's Kyle. There we go. I said his name. Kyle, please come back. So I'm guessing this is from the perspective of Ike, because Ike is Kyle's brother. Or half-brother, I think. Because that's why he's got the Canadian flappy head or whatever. Aww. Damn. Oh my god! Uh. Damn, that is pretty terrifying. Wasn't that from the South Park movie where, um, oh no, 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 I think it's, no, Kenny comes to Stan's bed or something, One of the, or, or no, Cartman's bed, you can't hide forever, Ike, and he's trying to tell him that the devil's coming up, and like, yeah, once Terrence and Philip get sacrificed, then that's it, the devil rises, which is such a unique story. This is the end, isn't it? Oh, is he gonna die? Good. Central Intelligence Agency. The CIA. If you or someone you know has been affected by the effects of the South Park broadcast, please contact your local authorities. You should also contact your TV provider and ask them to remove Comedy Central from your TV. Damn, Comedy Central is getting the brute force, the, the blunt end of this. Thank you for listening. We just wanted to make people laugh. End up airing freaking 
cursed South Park videos. Okay, so there is a string. Look, look at it. Look at all these guys. Who's this? I think we need to call an ambulance. This man is having two strokes. Okay, good one, Ryan. You're really funny, man. Well, well, that was Ike's tragedy. So there is a story interlinked, and I'm guessing it kind of, well, yeah, it all links together. But then in some episodes, all of them are still alive, and in others, I don't know. So what? They're all dying one by one, and I think the latest one was wendy's despair which is wendy's misery this one here that was beyond birth guys be sure to go like subscribe all that good stuff we're going to move on now to four anomaly and four anomaly does these individual kind of analog horror stories that isn't really connected then there's some analog horrors that are connected for example there's this babylon series that's happening right now but i'm kind of interested in these one-off ones because i don't know one-off ones are super interesting because it's just enough to kind of to scratch that part of the brain and i think four anomaly is great at doing that so this one's called giant Gigantic. They investigated in Mexico in 1994, a forgotten town with a strange disease among its inhabitants. Let's get into it. Many times, mysteries remain unsolved, hidden beneath eternal oblivion. Mm -hmm. The passage of time in places that, due to their remoteness and disconnection from major cities, do not allow for the dissemination they deserve. Okay. Such is the case of the strange disease that plagued hundreds of men and women in northern Mexico. Okay. A small and hitherto unknown magazine of mysteries and unexplained phenomena from Baja, California, in okay. 1994, produced an extensive documentary on the risks of exposure to radioactive materials and chemicals in general. Okay. This investigation arose following reports of a sudden increase in cancer mortality and inexplicable mutations in the population. Initially, so it's basically the hills have eyes. Uh, that's what you're saying. Suspicion fell on an old American nuclear installation. Well, that would be it. Yeah, if, if people are getting like deformities and uh, cancer all of a sudden, and there's a, a nuclear power plant nearby, it's probably safe to assume that those In two are desert, connected. Devoid of any legal authorization, it ah. operated clandestinely with the support of corrupt politicians oh. from the 1950s. There seemed to be no indication that this was the direct cause of the serious health issues affecting the population until an underground aquifer channel was discovered. Mm. It passed directly beneath the old facility and had been in operation for decades. Okay. Reports began to emerge in 1992 near to Valle de la Trinidad. Mm hmm middle-aged men and women with Jesus. no other history started suffering from a strange condition resembling gigantism. My God. Most of them developed this mutation in their feet. Yeah. As if that weren't enough, not only did their limbs grow disproportionately, but they also experienced the appearance of extra toes and protrusions on their feet. Good lord. Permanently unable to walk. Ah. Looks like a little freaking little uh, Rendering them chocolate eclairs. Unable. Ryan, what's wrong with you? <laughs> My God, those are some big ass feet. During the investigation, they also noticed other abnormalities, such as bulges in the eyes, hands, uh -huh. mouth, tongue, teeth, and even strange inflammations in the trachea. Oh my goodness. He's got no neck head on the go. Ah, those are lips. It's freaking. It's what you get, guys, when you go to these like uh, clinics. I try and give you lip Botox. Okay, this is what can happen to you. Though it looks like there's a penis hanging off her face. My God, that guy looked like Jabba the Hutt. Oh my goodness. Damn, they, they, what are those things called? Death, death claws in Fallout. That's what these people are turning into. Freaking death claws. Ugh. The severe abnormalities caught the attention of the local press, where a couple of residents from Valle de la Trinidad appeared One, two, on television three, four, five, discussing their six. case. Oh my goodness. However, due to the remoteness of the area, this never reached... Imagine being stumped on by these guys. Media outlets, ...and the news faded over time. But the You'd... mutations persisted without any explanation from health authorities. You'd think that would be all over During the news. During two months of investigation, American doctors were invited by the magazine's team to examine and document this rare phenomenon. Jesus, is that a real thing? 
they found the presence of enormous parasites inside the inflamed Jesus, areas of salad fingers. gigantism in those men and women who were in a more severe condition. One of the residents even lost their right eye, which Damn. outside its eye socket continued to grow. Jesus, it's the freaking Neversoft logo. Remember that, Tony Hawks? It'd always get a spike through the eye. Well, that's terrifying. That's lovely. So, there we go, guys. That was Fornomaly. The stories that they, they come up with and the way that they do it is so unique and so cool. And they have a Patreon here, actually, that you can go support them. But yeah, go check out Fornomaly. Go like the video, all that good stuff. We're going to move on to the next video. Okay, so this next video is by Midwest Angelica. And Midwest Angelica is a series, I believe. It was about this kind of comet... They believed it was a comet in outer space heading straight to Earth, but it was a floating corpse. And once it collided with Earth, I'm guessing there was some kind of infection that followed because there was a team that was sent out there to go deal with it. But one of the team members was taken over. A nearby farm was raided by these little alien creatures. And then the person that was infected went back to the headquarters and then ended up like breaking out like the thing, basically. That's what this is. It's like the thing, the movie. Started breaking out. And then I'm not sure what happened after that, but I guess we're gonna find out now this one's called azazel so here we go property of pine police department actually let me just read the description quick the tape is the second of two cassettes found in the collapsed remains of a house in stewart nebraska most buildings in the long pine ruins were found to be destroyed with a large crater discovered near the site of the former church building the circumstances surrounding the crater's formation is currently under investigation so that was, I'm guessing, the, the corpse, alien corpse that landed and then started just wreaking havoc on Earth. The following records contain accounts of the activities of Officer Sam Page and Officer Andrew Webster on 2-11-1999 uh, and 2-12-1999. So, what, February? February 12th, both officers w would be killed in the line of duty. Video evidence and testimony are compiled for ease of access in determining the causes of death. On this, uh, the 8th of February, 1999, at 12.03am, a missing persons PSA airs on KMN. Don't try that again. Don't try that again. I'll slap you about, you honey. Do you know what year we're living in? Everything's falling apart. Can't trust nobody. Nothing. Wow, missing John Carlyle. Okay. Missing Aaron Mathis. They look like WWE wrestlers. Like back in the 70s and 80s. David Roddy. Roddy. Rod Roddy. Sarah Withrow. The missing persons have yet to be located. At 9.35 p.m. on 11th of February 1999, the Long Pine Police Department Dispatch Center received a 911 call from an unknown caller ID. 911, please state your emergency. <laughs> I'm at 876 Pine Lane in Long Pine, right next to the church. Okay. I, know, I can't really say for certain, but there's some, some kind of sacrifice going on. Sacrifice? Okay, we'll be right there. Could you elaborate, please? Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a human sacrifice. I hear screams. It, it seems to be like a pagan ritual or something of the sort. Okay. Right, okay. Just hold tight. We'll be right there. Please stay on the line. Damn. Okay, Officer Sam Page and Officer Andrew Webster are soon called to the site. So this is next to the following photographs and video have been recovered from the officer's vehicle and whatever that is. Body cam, maybe? Okay. So is this after this meteor crater? What the hell? 
Is this before the crater or after? I'm a little bit confused. Or was it near? The following photographs were taken by Officer Andrew Webster. I'm a little bit slow today, guys. Slower than usual. So I apologize. I'm all spaced out. It looks like the Shadow Man. You know the game? A gift of the blood of an angel. Phantom in its appearance. The last video that they done was called Phantom. But inside's churn with flesh and blood of the stars. So what they're saying there, guys, is that they've... The Phantom is the person, I think it was a doctor, uh, who w was ordered to go out to the site to investigate because they needed to do some research on whatever the hell this thing was, if it was like a new element or something. And then they got infected, they came back, and I'm guessing this is what they mean by that. Uh, flesh and blood of the stars, meaning that it's whatever's occupying inside the doctor is actually an alien. The blessed walk in silence. Blissfully closer to his sacred realm. Ascended beyond mortals. We have become apostles of Azazel. What is that meant to be? Altar. An offering of souls to the body of the fallen. Reconstruction of God's realm. Infinite in its cycle of life. Death but a moment of p passing time. He is infin infinity incarnate. Okay, so he keeps being reborn or something? He's God. Oh good lord, who is that? That's a suspicious looking man in a top hat. Oh, is it one of the police officers? This is the last known appearance of Officer Sam Page. Damn. Where were they? In a tunnel? Page's body is yet to be recovered. Investigation is ongoing. Officer Webster continues outside to search this for the source of the disturbance. What if the call was just a hoax and they're just luring these people in? Oh my god, what the hell is that thing? Ugh. The following photographs were taken of the object. Okay. Oh my god, they're people. These are all people. Ah. Or is it mannequins? Maybe mannequins, I'm guessing? Yeah, they're all mannequins. Ah, uh, this one's alive! What the fuck? Officer Webster begins to show distress as he suspects someone is following him. Dear Lord. anyone? Hello? Oh, is there something there? Hello? Hello? What are you doing there? Hey! Yeah, I mean, there's nothing going on out here. Let's just go back. It was a false report. Let's get out of here. Need to stop with the sudden turns, man. So what was that freaking thing? That monastery thing or that statue or whatever it was? It was just like a something made of something made of like just what what was that? Oh my god, is that a tall man? Oh shit, it's like Slender Man.
Good lord. Oh wow, okay. Interesting. The man seen in the footage is yet to be identified. And that was a tall man. That was a very tall man. The body of Officer Andrew Webster was found. The cause of death remains unknown. Shortly after the incident, unmarked military personnel retrieved the body along with much of the footage recorded. A CIA operative named Robert Spencer has assumed command of the surrounding area and has threatened the Long Pine Police Department to remain quiet regarding these incidents. Of course. Of course the CIA would do that. Okay, interesting. So let me try and wrap my head around this. Depending on which biblical story you go by, Azazel is either an angel of death or a demon which claims sacrifices of scapegoats sent to it through the desert. Either way, it's a fitting name for this thing, so big thumbs up on that one. Oh, big thumbs up on that one. The thing I find interesting about all this is the initial crash site of the meteor, Long Pine and Stuart are a very good distance away from each other. My question is, how this thing was able to travel such distances so discreetly without people spotting it and spreading information about the incident further. Not to mention how big these entities can get. I'm just spitballing, but what if the entity type thing has mind altering effects that causes people around to become keen to its ideals? That would explain the odd real ritualistic sacrifices. It went from being like uh, this alien thing to now it's kind of taking over human form, but it's still big. So what's that? What's that, What is their plan? Is this dead corpse thing what they're 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 praying to, or what they're worshiping, what they're in reference to? I'm unsure. My brain actually hurts right now. It's very um. I've got a very buzzing sensation in my head. I'll probably need to go back and watch some of the older videos just to kind of get a rough understanding on what's happening. But that was a great video, Midwest Angelica. Uh, keep up the good work. Be sure to like the video, guys. All that good stuff. And we're gonna move on to the next video. Okay guys, so last but not least, this is a very short video, but I thought we'd end this on a nice light note because Return to Render does some fantastic, funny, the last video they done made me genuinely laugh. Uh, this one's called The Back Room's Lunch Break. So let's jump into this. Oh, right there. Oh, never mind. This guy's boring. <laughs> you guys want to go for lunch? I know the perfect place. Okay, the perfect place for lunch. over here okay yeah that doesn't <laughs> what? we'll see why I love that he's just brought his own like, sandwiches as well into the back room that's oddly cute what the fuck yeah this guy is definitely possessed well this is it what the hell is wrong here a lot? Yeah, just to relax and get away from things. <sighs> Damn it. Oh, why would I think you I got it? Huh. Let's get out of here. Oh wow, I just pulled the hat out of this thing. Oh, I've got it now. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's just the lack of caring in these videos that's hilarious. What the what the hell was that? <laughs> Well, that was a lovely little uh, ending to this video, guys. That was today's video. Last one there was the Backrooms Lunch Break by Return to Render. All videos will be linked down below along with the creators, so be sure to go check them out. If you guys did enjoy this reaction, I do apologize if I was zoned out at times. My, my head just started buzzing out of nowhere. So without Midwest Angelica, I'm pretty certain that something happened to my brain, okay? What, maybe I've been possessed. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.